start again. Let me find, let me start again. From, you could say, horror to something divine. Something true. I saw, I met, I knew. And there was no wine. There was no garden. And I forget, I was never introduced to her name. I didn't know her name. It was a game I often played walking in the middle of the night. And the sight, it was red, repetitively red, luminescent. Yes, Lazarus-like, illuminated from the dead, rebirth, new life, to find your own self. Variations of what they call the eternal flame. When you say, derive from the best, and we'll both do the rest, we'll ascend, We'll talk and jest, we'll walk hand in hand eventually in this life. And you could say, in the yes, eternal, eternal. Yes. You pause, you pause, you pause, and you say, what was the cause of all of this? What caused it all? What is the initiation? What was my intuition telling me? Where was I falling? Where was I going? How did I know without knowing that it was this way and that way? The fate, they call it, fit to this one. This gate, this gate, this gate, which choice? Which choice? The choice of the affected, unaffected. Which place, which place, which face shall I show? Dimensional, heightened or low. And there you go. I'm here in the present moment. I'm in the present moment. And sometimes you don't know. You're agnostic as you flow. And sometimes you imagine you're underwater while you walk, but then those who stalk, those who stalk, you find yourself as you walk, walk through the imaginary water, the daughter, the mother, the salt, the savory earth, fragrantly you speak, and you say, this is the night we embrace in the most unaffected way. But sometimes it doesn't go that way. You often say, oh, I might see you again. I might see something. I might know you. I might be you. In male form. We think so alike. Let us repeat without the frailty and the fight. Go back to the eternal, the eternal delight. Some are born to sweet delight. Who was that? Who said that? Let's derive. Let's see the sight. Where well, we open. Where well, we open how we perceive ourselves. The perceptive, the perceptive light. Stay towards that. Which is good. Common sense within the night.
gives you comfort. It gives you hope. It gives you scope. And it gives you time to reflect and say, it's good I'm sitting here tonight. It's good I'm having a meal and I don't steal. And I feel all the right sensations and emotions and no frustrations are here. And you say, maybe this is heaven on earth. Maybe it's just a rebirth, a rebirth for every day, celebrating your walk, your talk. What is the real you? What is the real me? I guess we'll see tomorrow and today, or maybe just now, this way. Second guessing, questioning, playing games, forgetting names. I never caught your name. I never caught your name. One more time, I never caught your name. Thank you, my dear, while I hear your voice whisper through the dusk, the dawn, while I wear the fawn, the navy, night reflects my jacket, not knowing whether the seasons are the reasons for my sanity. I find my vanity in the mirror, my pride within and without. And tonight I will not shout, just be that whisper, but not a whimper. And keep it open-ended because I'm a nervous type sometimes. Do I live up to the hype? Shall I perch my lips once more and speak like this? So many words, sometimes one and the same. The whore, the woman. Yes, you next door. All of the different women that you see and say, please do not misunderstand me when I yell, when I'm angry, when I feel like I'm in hell, let us have heaven on earth. Heaven on earth, heaven on earth, heaven on earth, rebirth. My dear, my love, my dear. And let us fly with grinded feet.